Hare Krishna. Happy Mother's Day. Is it just me or does that cow resemble a scorpion? I see a tail, I see some claws, I see some eyes, and I see a smiley face. <laughs> anyway, happy, happy Mars Day, Tuesday. The day is uh, November. Excuse me, I just thought going by. November 29th, 2022. I wanted to talk today about some Mars um, indicators. Are, they're called clericas. Things that are represented by Mars in a bird chart. The word is spelled with a K. K-A-R-K-A-S. Clericas. Please excuse the road work. They're building, I guess, no doubt, another toll road through the landscape of Florida here. But we're not gonna, I'm not going to let that keep me inside, scared and huddled. No, no, not me. I've got way too much Mars. And I know if I don't use it, it will implode. And it will implode in french fries. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, I wanted to talk today about um, recycling and how that pleases the planet Mars. You see, Mars is the child of the Earth. Mars also represents our physical bodies. So, being a child of the Earth, clearly the, the planet Mars will appreciate when you put things back and recycle them. Now, um, if you think back about all the people you've ever met who've had hang-ups about recycling, I mean, to the companies that don't recycle, and the people that don't recycle, you'll notice that they're always fretting about a place to live and paying the bills. Now, there's a reason for that. They're throwing away, they're dismissing the earth as being separate from them, okay? Or the, the home that they're in is being separate. And that's getting put into account, that's being taken into account. They may not believe that it is, but clearly they can see that we live on somewhat of a finite planet. Uh, you know, you don't just get unlimited resources. You have a certain amount of resource loss whenever you take something, aka we're exploiters, not G-O-D in the three. So, when you don't recycle, you're telling the planet that I don't really live here, I don't want to live here, I don't claim living here. This is, I just want to use and put back through somewhere. And that offends Mars. Now, Mars also in the birth chart will indicate property. Mars, yes, it, it indicates property. So if you are not recycling and you're not taking care of the earth, you will have issues with property. And um, you could say, well, also people who don't spend a lot of money, who don't waste a lot of resources have money. There you go. Here's another good reason, uh, example. But on a more subtle level, think back. And I know I can think every single person and company that did not recycle, that, that wanted to show teeth and claws when I requested that the plastic bags go to the plastic and, you know, the, everything get recycled to the best of our ability. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're traveling, your car is getting filled up with junk. I mean, you gotta, you know, you gotta make, gotta make some allowances there, you know, you gotta throw the trash out in the trash can somewhere and hopefully they'll, the city will recycle, right? <laughs> but... Even then, you're, I, I wouldn't always take those risks because I want a place to live. Uh, now, I do know someone who's a really good recycler who has a hard time finding a place to live. Again, if you are a meat eater, you're evicting the soul from the physical body. Okay, You're, you're calling that to yourself also. You're saying this is a reality that I have subscribed to, right? I don't mind doing this to another because this is part of this reality and clearly it will happen to me too if given, you know, any chance in which that could be true. That is true. This is a, they love to, you know, bust around in the physical, physical world. But is that the ultimate goal of our physical existence? No. <clears throat> 
So you want to get to the most integrated culmination of conclusions as a mature adult. You know, you want to pass that milestone of not making it all about the physical. When clearly your own physical body is starting to break down at various times and places. I mean, various times in not places, but yes, yeah, sometimes places. Got to you know protect us all. But uh, yeah, this um, this obstinate attitude um, about rec- not recycling, I've found in every single person. And, you know, also, like I said, the meat-eating people who evict the soul from the body. Now, does it, does God seem to, like, let certain people have a nice place to live when they do all these things and not recycle? Yeah, but are they the ones that God's trying to get their attention? Probably not. He's probably going to, you know, let them think they're doing whatever they're doing for as long as they can and ruin their chances and go to another species. I mean, you have to look at correction sometimes as not always being against you. You know, the sooner you learn the law, the better. It's better to do learn in this lifetime than have to come back just so you have to pay a price. So, <laughs> um, yeah, so if you want to, you know, upgrade your way of living, your physical life, take care of the earth. You know, get back where you can and um, put back when you can. You know, that really does attract more property and land to you. And um, you'll never have to worry about a place to stay. People will will just come out of the woodwork and want you to, you know, live there because you'll improve it. Right? It's hard to find people who aren't just running and running and using and using and using on that matrix game. You know, everybody wants proof that they're not going to keep doing that. Right? That's part of what credit is, is, is proving that you're not just going to be a squanderer, right? I mean, we know that that's not going to help, and we're not going to move to the next stage of life with grace if we keep trying to hold stagnantly to old physical paradigms. You know, if we still wanted 8-track, because 8-track was the thing, we would have never, and you know, you're just looking at that. You never have, <laughs> have said, well, maybe there's an integration and something better. Because we'd still be staring at A-Track. And a large majority of uncreative people would still be staring at A-Track. I'm just saying. <laughs> saying this is all there are. All there is. I mean, it's just kind of ironic. I'm just saying. The more you exaggerate the physical, as much as you make it everything, the less you get of the physical. So, kind of a paradigm there. Paradox, paradox of the paradigm. (laughs) But, uh, this is a short video on how to improve your Mars energy. And, uh, you know, you know, mommy, son, and um, mother are very close. You know, you don't want to hurt mom (laughs) in front of the son. Sun gets agitated and, you know, can get Martian on you real quick. Uh, anyway, please like and subscribe. Share this video if it will help any of your people around you see the light of their you know, recycling habits or lack of thereof. And, you know, improve their life. Too much, it's too bad that we just we wish it all away somewhere. And then we're, we're constantly paying these prices of not having a place to live. I mean, just think about people in these big industries. I was in a skating ring the other day. Sorry about my voice. Whew. I was in a skating ring the other day. And I was watching the people put the cheese on the, the tortillas. And they were just throwing plastic bag after plastic bag in a trash can. Like, what if they made, a, they made a stance and said, we're making sure we recycle all this plastic, you know? I bet you anything, their prices in that, their, their, everything would go down there. Their building prices would go down. But because they make themselves a burden unnecessarily, I mean, they're a great resource for the town, but then they're doing this, you know? They're turning, oh, well, I'm doing this, so I don't have to do that. Well, no, you do, because you took from the planet. 
can just the least you could do, you know. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, please consider all these uh, factors when you make decisions that will affect your physical life. You are your physical being. You know, there's no way, right? It's, it's only what you're you're gonna shut off with yourself, within yourself. And um, isn't it? Aren't we already as a society just so emotionally cold? Like, I mean, it's it's where the why the drugs are so bad. You know, people turning to drugs because people interpersonally don't give back to the heart. They don't give back that physical care that they once took. They're they're grasping. They put themselves in a grasping state of mind, world. You know, grasp this, cons- make some money off that, and you know, use it and don't really care about where it goes and throw it away and then do it again. <laughs> you know, and it, some people make have a lot of money, but look at them also. Look at their physical face and everything. Like, they really look dried out. Like, like of all that money, like you didn't. <laughs> You know, really get it. You know what I mean? Like, you didn't get a lot, like, physical body, though. <laughs> you know? <laughs> You're too bad like that. Well, bet they don't recycle and they eat dead animals. You know? They got everything else physical. You know? It's, you can move pretty fast when you don't have a conscience about how you're throwing it away. You're going to be faster than, like, me. Because <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... I'm going to be like, oh, wait a second, this has to be put back here, this has to be put back there. You can't just, like, throw this aside for some competition of the world, you know. So, hopefully this video doesn't offend anyone, Hare Krishna. I'm not trying to offend anyone. Uh, I'm just trying to, you know, help help you see that uh, you know, everything counts in large, am- large amounts, you know. Just, uh, I'm tired of the homelessness also. You know, but people do it to themselves, they call it to themselves. So, anyway, stay cool out there or stay peaceful. Shanti with the Mars energy. Try to, you know, say the Hanuman prayer. <laughs> if you're if you're having any kind of physical problems or, you know, black magic from your past, you know, things that you've done in the physical world, it can cause black, it is a form of black magic to ignore the planet, you know? So this is our mother. How would, how can we just turn and be so rude, right? But, you know, they say in the Bhagavad Gita that that, there's the souls that come, there's a certain eternally conditioned soul that's always against the supremacy of God. So they get in control and tell everyone to just chase things and, you know, always deride the person, the sense of the self. Then you got a society of emotional poverty, you know, ready to do drugs. How many of those? Those rich people, you know, they go to fancy parties where they could have actually been helping the planet and they just do drugs, right? Ends up spending all their money on drugs. Because consciousness it doesn't want to be left at the door, as Michael Fusarian says. It, it has to be fully integrated or else we're just exploited one more time. We're just on a new... It'll just come, the world, and it'll just come and eat our efforts again and again. The only way that it can is to get to the heart. Now, it wants to gloat. You know, whatever this is that wants to eat our efforts, it really wants to gloat in our face that we're just, you know, these horrible beings that don't deserve protection. We're messy. We just don't we trash the planet. It really wants to <clears throat> make humans like these squish bugs on the, on the earth. Look, them look like they're nothing, but, you know... They're not, Hare Krishna. They're, uh... Who knows what, who knows what's going to happen, though, really. You know, people keep destro- taking resources already and throwing away and harsh, making so harsh the planet. Like, they really set up this paradigm. 
so that the humans could be part of their own undoing, it seems, you know. But those are just other musings of looking at the planet. And of course, I'm just a really, like, strict one here because I'm in my Saturn line. <sighs> it's like... I can't even have fun. It's like I'm cleaning up. I feel like there's so much shit I have to do. I don't even want to do a lot of stuff. It's fun. I feel like there's like a million things <laughs> I'm supposed to do on this planet before I actually, quote unquote, have fun. Go somewhere and like... I mean, I have fun when it gets done. <laughs> I get. I have fun when, you know, I'm with my son and I'm, I get to take care of him nicely. But as far as, like, feeling like, oh, yeah, let me just escape this and go somewhere else and then come back and see the same problem. Like, I don't want to be a part of that. I don't know how other people can. First, personally, I know that they're a lot more fun. Like, they seem, like, very effervescent. And everybody thinks they're not having a, you know, waking up on the wrong side of the bed every day like me. But they don't, not everyone has the same calling, you know. So anyway... Have a good day. Have a good day. Take care.